Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivy and I have a very large grocery haul for you today. I don't even want to say finally, but it's been a long time since I've had a big grocery haul. I mean like a long time. Like I have not had a big grocery haul this year kind of grocery haul. Uh, so the price tag was $234. I just remember because it was two, three, four. <laughs> um, and that's a big price tag. Definitely over what I've been spending. I've been keeping it right around a hundred dollars this whole year, which has been amazing. Uh, but we are to the point right now where we are at ball games every single night. I need quicker and easier meals. I feel like we're get home and we're scrounging. We're trying to find something really quick to make. Um, and we're just kind of missing a few items that we just enjoy having. So, um, I've restocked a little bit more than I definitely have more than I kind of wanted to, but also it's all stuff that we will use within a short amount of time to be perfectly honest. So it's not like I'm like big time stocking up, um, because it's very, it's all very consumables. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's all consumable because it is f literally food and cleaning products. Um, but I just mean like, it's not pantry staples. It's not like stocking up on canned goods. There we go. It's not, I'm not creating a stockpile. I'm, I'm just a bunch of stuff that we're going to eat soon. Okay. Over explaining. Oh my gosh. Long story long. Have you heard that lately? If you're new here, you haven't, but that's kind of how we roll. I, I tend to talk about things. <laughs> um, but anyhow, um, the food items, there's a lot, some higher price items, but I also needed a lot of cleaning supplies. Not a lot. I needed several cleaning supplies for the Airbnb and y'all know that's really expensive. So big price tag, but it's a lot of groceries too. So I don't feel crazy bad about it. And I'm actually already so sick of eating out and eating concession stand food. I want some food in my house that we can actually eat at home, even if it's cereal or a scrambled egg when we get home. But like, I just want food in my house so we can eat when we get home from ball games at 9 30 PM. That's my goal right now. Okay. Okay. And if you're questioning the entirety of time we spend at ball games, my face should say it all. I'm so sunburnt and windburnt from games this weekend. Um, like my face literally hurts all day long. It's so ridiculous. Anyway, uh, enough about that. You'll hear about that on my weekly vlog, which, hey, by the way, shameless plug. If you're new around here, I also do weekly vlogs. I'm going to say it real early. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Join my YouTube family. If you end up enjoying this video, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss my future uploads. I do grocery hauls every single week, plus uh, weekly vlogs, plus some random content here, there, and beyond. Some Timu hauls, Disney content. I just gift guide stuff. Uh, so you get the gist, right? So if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe. All right, enough with that rambling. Let's get down to business. Let's see what I picked up at the grocery store this week. All right, as you can see, it's quite big. I have to turn on my wide angle. Like, I hate how much I had to spend, but it literally feels so good to have food back in our house. It's so silly. But so many of y'all commented last week, oh my goodness, you barely got any groceries. You're right. And I felt it all week long. So here we are. We got lots of groceries. Let's see what they are. Let's go item by item. All right. As little as we're home, we still go through the milk like it's water. So two gallons of whole Highland milk here. Um, next is my dairy stuff. We have not had these in a while. Y'all, this is online grocery order pickup. Um, I talked last week, they get you with like the impulse buys. Like, don't forget this item that you usually order. Um, well, I literally went through my reordered items. I don't know if you do that. Uh, you have online grocery pickup or use it, but there's a section where you can like say reorder and it literally shows you everything you have bought before. And I was kind of thinking like, what are, what haven't I got in a while? And that's where a lot of these came from. This being one of those, we really enjoy these. They're really good. I want to say high protein snack. I really don't know if they actually are uh, protein five grams. No, they're not. Okay. Well, I guess if you eat them both together, a cheese and a turkey, you get 11 grams of protein. So not terrible for 150 calorie snack. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, we don't really count macros or anything like that, but we are also trying to make healthier choices and this is a healthier choice than chips. Okay. Moving on. Um, cheese. We use a lot of cheese here. Speaking of being healthier, cheese isn't healthier. I get that, but, uh, we use a lot of cheese. Um, we make healthier choices where we can so that we can still eat cheese. Okay. Okay. As this is literally cheese. Wow. How many times can I say cheese? Cheese singles. Let's go one more time. We use these for our burritos and 
Uh, we put them in soup actually too. So um, we just use those. I make grilled cheese quite often and we needed some replenishment of that. I got some pepperoni. You'll see why here in a moment, but one, I like snacking on it and two, I have a quick meal idea um, in mind for that. Uh, Black Forest ham. This is just our preferred lunch meat. So I picked up a big double pack, family size pack of the Black Forest ham. And we've really been enjoying this butter. I still haven't tried the olive oil. I don't know if they just say it's off, um, out of stock, but it's not been on stock, in stock online at my Walmart since I've switched over to this Land of Lakes. Um, but I do like this canola oil for sure, but I still want to try the olive oil one. One of these days, maybe it'll be back in stock. All right, moving up here, I grabbed four pizzas. We love the cheap pizzas. I don't know why it's nostalgic. I loved them as a kid. I still love them now. A little bit of garlic powder, salt and pepper, garlic, salt and pepper. Y'all, it's just so good. And the whole family likes them. I can actually cook them in the air fryer pretty quick. So I grabbed four of those for really quick meals for that. Um, this is the extra piece to the pepperoni. So I just take some garlic toast, skipping ahead, um, and then just a little bit of this, um, it's not, I was going to say marinara sauce, pasta sauce, and put it on there, put some pepperonis on there, put them in the air fryer. Pizza toast is what we call it. It's super good, super quick. I realize I have a bunch of pizza there, but um, that's if you're just making a single serving. It's great. Plus, we could also have it as a side for some pasta as well, if we're actually home one night and I can make a full meal. Bananas, we have been enjoying having bananas for our cereal. Riley eats them on rice cakes. I didn't ask. No, I said, look over there. She still has some rice cakes. Um, and we just like having bananas. However, these are little baby, little bitty baby bananas. They're so tiny. So I wish I would have ordered more, but it's fine. Just what it is. All right. Uh, honey crisp apples. We have also enjoyed having those. Eat them with some honey and peanut butter, and they're so delicious. Avocados, again, we've just been going through them. Like, breakfasts are where what we've really been eating at home um and we've just really been enjoying them and the avocados have been so good the last several times so picked up another um pack of them the price is just really great it's like two something for all five of those and it's just a great deal all right next some bread like i said we've been doing grilled cheese quite often um, but also now we can have some sandwiches because I have lunch meat and bread. So I prefer the honey wheat bread. Um, I got this multi-grain bread for Scotty. I need to go to Sam's Club very soon and I'll get some more oat nut, but he'll like that just fine. And then Aiden, well, we all love these bagels, but Aiden, especially this bagel with a slice of cheese and the black forest ham. So, so good. Such a great sandwich. Um, but yeah, we really enjoy these. I didn't know they were going to give me one that was on clearance, but that's fine. We eat them so fast. It's not going to hurt anything. What is the date? Um, that's today. Hmm. Okay. I might freeze, freeze them and we'll just pull them out one at a time or something. But anyway, like I said, we eat them really fast. Anyhow. Okay. Back up here at the top, two things of cereal, healthy cereals. Look at us go. No fruity, no chocolate, just some healthy or ish options. Um, Nobody has complained since I have not been buying the other two brands or two varieties and I'm okay with that. Um, this was one of the items that was in my reorder thing. We haven't had these in a while and they are very good. They're like the little miniature ones. Um, and I think everyone's going to be excited about those. They are pricey. They're like 12 bucks for 24. So, you know, and it's a two pack. So you're really paying a dollar a piece basically. That's not too bad for a breakfast. Uh, applesauce. I love applesauce with a slice of buttered bread. I mean, not buttered. <laughs> that would be weird. Peanut butter bread. Um, so good. Okay. And then I already showed you the pasta sauce, but I did not show you the pesto. I got the wrong pesto last time. It was fine. It was actually very plain. Um, so hopefully this is the right one this time. I'm pretty sure it is. I know we get the small one. I was torn between this Classico and the press, not presto, Prego. And I got the Prego last time because we get Prego. So that's where my brain was thinking. Anyway, I think this is the one we prefer. And so I got that because Riley really likes making angel hair pasta with pesto. So I grabbed some angel hair. I also grabbed some spaghetti and I also have some penne already. So we've got some options for some pasta meals, which pasta is so quick and easy. So I love that. Sour cream. We just, we eat tacos a lot of times if we need a quick meal. Um, and I know we're low on sour cream, if not out. 
Um, this is a nice, quick, easy thing. I honestly thought there were four in this. I don't know why there's only two, but that's okay. The kids will enjoy those maybe one day for an after school snack or again, a late night when we get home from ball games and they just want something in their belly. That is a good option. Um, I grabbed these because I was heavily influenced. Um, I already make biscuit donuts where you just get the cheap biscuits, punch a hole in it, fry it. You make a donut. I saw a thing where they did it with cinnamon rolls and I showed Scotty and he's like, uh, yes, please. So we're going to give that a try. That'll be a treat for someday. I'll, I'll put it on my weekly vlog. Um, probably not anytime soon, but I just wanted to buy them while it was on my brain, but we have a lot going on right now. I don't have time to make them, but then I'll have it on hand when we do have time to make them. Uh, these are both substitutes. I ordered just regular honey. They substituted the organic raw honey, which is fine, but, um, the price was, I think the same. I ordered the great value Hershey syrup. They gave me, no, <laughs> I ordered the great value chocolate syrup. They gave me Hershey's. I don't care. I love Hershey's. So it's fine. I just have to pay more for it. So it is what it is on that as well. I don't know why I'm saying it that way. I'm sorry. That's probably really annoying. I'm annoying myself. Um, this lovely can of olives, um, not a substitution, but I wish they woulda, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, that. I just needed that for taco salad. I already talked about those. This is my other substitute. I ordered a four pack. They gave me four individuals, which is fine, but it ended up costing me like 30 more cents to get four individual cans instead of a four pack, which why they saved money because they didn't have to do the plastic thing that was around it. Whatever. Okay. Back up here. Um, oh, I was starting to say, I think the olives are for taco salad creamy Italian dressing for taco salad. It's a huge staple in our house. We have it anytime we need a quick meal. So I figured I would stock up and get two of those and two of those. I don't know why I didn't get two of those. I may already have one. I don't know. My brain is not functioning properly. Um, and by those, I mean, corn chips got two bags of those. Hallelujah. They were actually on online pickup. I didn't have to get the name brand. Didn't have to get chili cheese. Let's just sing a little hallelujah. Okay, uh, these are our favorite jalapenos. We have been flying through these. Aiden has been loving them. I probably should have got two jars. I wish they'd sold a big jar because Aiden's been loving them. So, so I picked up just another one of those. Uh, he's also been making a lot of nachos. Again, not healthy, but you know, it is what it is. He's 13, 14. Oh gosh, he's 14. Um, so, but we didn't have chips. So last week I got buffalo sauce, but I didn't get chips. So now I have a pack of chips. The on the border cafe style is our fave. So I grabbed one of those. I got brownies, y'all. Just when I say healthy, just ignore me, okay? Because here we are getting brownies. Um, I just like having a brownie mix on hand just in case. And I'm glad I put this in my cart because I totally forgot we have a food day at school on Friday. So I'm probably going to make brownie bites on Thursday night to take for Friday. So that was... Um, you know, a win for me that I put them in there just wanting one to have one on hand, but that's why I want to have one on hand just in case I ever need to make something. Okay. Moving on, uh, granola bars. We do enjoy having granola bars. So I got a 15 count of the chocolate chip, a 15 count of the honey oat. Those are chewies. These are crunchy honey oat. Um, just a small box of those. Those are so much more expensive. It's crazy. All right, moving on. Um, if you've been around a minute, you know, I despise tea bags that are individually wrapped. I don't know why, but it makes me crazy. They used to sell a tagless tea bag. Where did it go? I don't know. I wish it was still around, but I don't like unwrapping every single tea bag. So I figured I would give these a try. They're gallon size. There's like one big tea bag that you use. Um, we use them at church camp. We use them at church. So I don't know why I haven't bought them before. So I'm going to give this a try and maybe that will solve my pet peeve, but I still needed this because we still drink hot tea quite often, which if I'm just unwrapping one tea bag, it's not that big a deal. But when I have to do 10, I'm just annoyed. I don't know why. That's so silly. I know it like first word problems. I get it, but that's my little pet peeve. I hate unwrapping them. Have those for individuals, those for gallons. Okay. Moving on. So, uh, eggs. Um, the poor sweet little kid that packed my car, he did not pack it well because literally my bread, thankfully it's not smashed and my eggs and my chips were on the bottom. Everything else was on top. I was like, what in the actual heck? So I have, these are 
plasticed together. So hopefully they're fine, but, um, needed more eggs. So I picked up a double 36, no, 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 double 18 count, which is 36 eggs. Chicken, been out of chicken for a minute. Um, I was hoping to get back to Aldi because the deal was so good, but this actually was on rollback. Um, I don't know what, uh, yeah, 267 a pound. So I paid 1202. Definitely the best price I've paid at Walmart in quite a while. So that's good, but didn't make it back to Aldi to save some money on that, but that's okay. So got some chicken back. That'll be like one, two, three, four, five, about six, five to six meals, depending on what I'm cooking. So that will be nice. Okay. Everything else. Oh wait, no, I got some snacks hidden in here. Um, fruit smiles again, ignore the healthiness, but those are nice, quick little snacks. The kids like having them. Um, my kids are teenagers, by the way, if I haven't mentioned that, but, um, we still like having fruit snacks. Plus when the grandkids come over too. Okay. Now the rest is cleaning products for the Airbnb, but, um, I just picked them up on our dime this week. So, um, well, no, I'll reimburse myself. Never mind. Anyway, uh, detergent. So I grabbed another one of those. They've changed the packaging. So I was confused for a moment, but thankfully on grocery pickup, it tells you like bought X amount of times and stuff. So I knew that's the one I normally get. Um, and then Clorox wipes, we were completely out of those. So I picked up a big four pack. It's just the best deal to get the four pack. So I grabbed it, even though it was like $13 or something, it was just worth it. It was still a savings of money. Borax for laundry. And then our sheets and towels are all white. So I prefer to bleach them all, whether they need bleaching or not, but it just gives them that nice clean smell. And it just makes you feel like you're getting into a clean bed and using a clean towel and it smells like bleach. At least that's what I think anyhow. And I think our guests, hopefully our guests appreciate that. Um, so there's that. And then a few non-food household items that I needed. Um, what in the world? Oh, okay. I thought it was missing some. looks like they're both on this side uh, or all on this side. Well, what a waste of money. Look at all that extra packaging that does not need to be there. Ugh. Anyway. Okay. Uh, Riley and I used both, both of us use these razors. So I just am able to get a four pack of those and they last us quite a while for sure. Um, and then I needed some mascara. This is my lifelong true blue same thing i've worn for ages and ages mascara i love it cover girl professional remarkable mascara and then i got this because i needed something for my face and i trust jergens on my face i don't trust everything on my face and because it is like about it's peeling and everything i'm just i need something on my face so i grabbed just this small little jergens and hopefully that will help me out while I have this sunburn going on. And mercy me, that is it. That is everything I picked up at the store this week. Oh, golly gee, I feel like I've been talking forever and ever. And I kind of have been. My last couple of videos have been less than 10 minutes. When I'm editing, I'm like, oh, this is so nice. Like less than 10 minutes. But then this one, I'm like, I just talked for 15 minutes straight plus my intro. Oh goodness. Uh, so much longer video because obviously it's a much bigger grocery haul. But again, thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I do hope that you take some time to give me a thumbs up. That just helps other people on YouTube find my channel. It says, Hey, people like this video. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Cause guess what? That helps me too. So, um, bring on the thumbs down. I don't even care. Um, but any interaction with my video helps my channel. So those thumbs up, thumbs down, of course, give me comments in the comment box. I do prefer nice comments. So if you don't like my channel, sure, give me a thumbs down and just scoot on along the way. Uh, you don't need to leave me a comment and tell me you don't like me. That's fine. I know people don't like me and I'm learning to handle that. It's taken me 41 years of my life to figure out it's okay that people don't like me. I still don't like it, but I'm learning to deal with it. Okay. So you don't need to leave me a comment and tell me you don't like me. You can just move right on along. All right. We're going to move past that. If you do like me, leave me a comment. If you've seen since something on Wow. If you've seen something on my table that is new to you, if you have any questions about that, leave me a comment about that as well. If you have suggestions for quick, easy, like, I don't want to say snacky meals, but almost like, what can we eat really quick? I know some of my fellow ball parents watch my channel. What do y'all eat when you get home that late at night? Like, I'm tired of the concession stand food. I'm tired of just finding random stuff. So give me your suggestions. I would love to have those down in the comment box. And of course, as I mentioned before, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future content. Join my YouTube family and let's have some fun around here because I feel like we do. I feel like we have lots of fun around here. Maybe I'm a little biased, but I would love to have you along to check it out for yourself. So thanks for coming along with me today. I appreciate it. I love it. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.